when it was hot. She was a name in everybody's mouth. She was always super popular for no reason though, because she was kind of a bitch, but she was a bitch who knew who she was. In almost every way, when it was perfect. And then the pandemic hit. What the fuck is the coronavirus? This morning, a devastating chapter in the U.S. fight against COVID-19. The numbers don't tell us the it virus is death toll climbing above 200,000 Americans. And as scared as she was of getting sick, I mean, when I loved quarantine. Girl, what? I can't even imagine when it gets cold again. Imagine that. Corona plus flu season? F*** that. And I mean, really, she had nothing else better to do but to look at herself. But even in quarantine, she was still a bitch. What do you mean you can't talk? We're in quarantine. It's not like you're doing anything anyway. Whatever. And Chris got on her nerves, but this isn't about him. Get out! But she did get lonely, though. She missed a man's touch. No, not like that, you nasty. She just missed affection, caring for somebody, being in love, damn it. A hopeless romantic from hell though, because winter was dangerous. When she liked you, she liked you. So be careful with that one. Hey, you didn't you didn't text me back. Oh, sorry, I'm just a little busy right now. Oh, you're busy? What are you, what are you doing? Oh, I had to help my grandma, she's sick. Your grandma? Yeah, she's actually kind of sick right now, so. But but I text but I texted you. I mean I I get that, but my grandma you, is sick. I mean I get that she's sick, that's fine, but she can't even stand up on How her. old is she? She's ninety seven. Ninety seven I mean, okay, well clearly she doesn't have long left. Excuse me? You can text back. You're not that busy. I mean, come on. She can't even stand up on her own. She can't what part of busy do you not get? Like, okay, you're okay. You, you're clearly upset, but all you have to do is text somebody back, and we wouldn't have a problem. If you would just wait for like five minutes. Exactly. That's why. Hello. Oh, well, now that bitch really gonna die. She gonna take my fucking man. But quarantine life, aka no life, meant no money. She tried to start an OnlyFans, but then her parents found it. And you know, she had to deal with that, whatever. But she got popular on social media quick. She has a really nice Instagram and with that, she got rich. Um, that's a lie. I don't know where she's getting all these outfits. I personally think she's tricking. She bought that money off Amazon, first off. Oh, and that's my room, by the way. Shut up! Winter was good at accepting things. She'd been through a lot of situations where she simply had to just shrug her shoulders and say, Fuck it. Fuck it. So she was ready to spend the rest of her life in quarantine. And then she met a guy. What? You didn't think she was on Tinder? No, 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 no. <gasps> he. His dog's cute. He's not. Ooh, ooh, she swiped the one and she fell. Hard. They were always FaceTiming, texting, you know, that cupcake face. She was really head over heels to this guy and she didn't mind the relationship being over the internet because I mean, she was happy. And then boom, he wanted to meet, like in person. What do you mean? There's still a, we're still in a pandemic. I mean. But, but if you've been out like partying and all those other kind of things like that. Like, I mean, I stayed in the house. I know I'm fine. But you, like, you still go to parties and you're like around a bunch of people. I'm just not necessarily comfortable with that. I'm sorry. Actually, I'm not sorry, but what do you mean this isn't going to work? I got sexy for you. Give me my fucking robe. No, I'm not taking my robe back off. How dare you? So that's it. You just don't want to talk. Why are you acting like we're not... Like, there's not a virus. There's, we're not in a pandemic. No, I'm not going to meet you. We were doing fine just like this over the computer. What's the problem? So that's just it. You know what? F*** you then. 
I hope you get sick. No, I don't. No, I don't. I, I didn't mean that, but well, I, okay, I, I wish I wouldn't have said that. But still, you're a douche. I don't want to cry because my fucking concealer is too expensive. It was over and it sucked. Just because this guy made her feel different, you know? Just when she was letting her walls down, he left. She took it pretty hard and quarantine actually started to kind of get to her. She started to go a little crazy, honestly. No, I dumped him. Okay, he dumped me. But, plus girl, he already had like a slight cough. I heard it. When I faced him one time, I heard him like, <coughs> uh-uh, girl, no, couldn't be me. No, he sucks. That's, yeah, exactly. This whole bang situation, what's up with that? Do you think he has a face for bangs? No, I, I mean, it's cute. I, I, um... But after a while, she got confused because she started to remember who the fuck she was. Bitch! Hold on. She knew what she had to do. She blocked this guy's entire existence. And with a little more time, she forgot about him. And then she found herself again. Back to the sweet, bubbly, charismatic bitch that she is. And boom, that was my euphoria parody. I don't really know what to say other than thank you for guys for watching. If you made it to the end, thank you so much. Um, thank you to Maria for filming some of the scenes for me. And uh, basically, if you liked it, like it. If you had a favorite part, comment it. Other than that, this video here is over and I will see you in the next one. Thanks again for watching. Bye. Did my nipples pop out when I'm doing that?